hello hello welcome back to my channel i'm here with another haul video so let's get into it um on a previous haul video like two videos ago i did say i was waiting for more things to come and i have been hauling a lot but i've also been using what i'm buying so i don't feel bad about it to be honest and i've been destashing a lot on my instagram so you know, sometimes things change and we no longer love the things or we've already used our things like so many times that we kind of get over them in a sense. But anyway, here we go. I, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, this one is an Etsy um, order. This is for the Paige Evans uh, trick Tricks and Treats. So I picked up three of the puffy stickers. And you guys, like, I don't know what was going on with this collection, but it seems like it was just so sporadic. No, Not one shop, like, had all the things. And it was just so crazy and so hard to get, like, a hold of these items. So I bought these. And I also bought these. From the same seller on Etsy and I went back to check because I was gonna link her page but um, she doesn't have it in stock anymore it's literally all gone <clears throat> and then I purchased this one from Simon Says Stamp with one of like my orders one of these next orders that I'm gonna be showing with you show showing with you Wow I don't know how to speak sharing with you but this is the back I didn't show you the back of this one. These are definitely like way, way busy patterns and so different for me. But the only reason I picked this up was because I did sign up for the scrapbook and cards um, classes, which I believe started today or yesterday. And obviously by looking at this, um, I did not start with the classes because I don't have time that's my biggest um, thing nowadays is that I want to do all the things but there's no time to do all the things like I'm stretching myself thin and it's it's kind of getting frustrating but I will make it work make it work okay so for that um, class kit they did go ahead and give this like smaller doodle bug shadow box insert kit really cute um, not sure if I'm gonna be doing that to be honest I might just use it the way I want to use it and then we have some enamel dots the thickers the ephemera pack and we have the letter thickers, the six by 12 stickers, which I did get more of these, but I ordered it from Frank's and I haven't picked it up yet. Like I said, I ordered things from <clears throat> scrapbook.com, Etsy, eBay. Speaking of eBay, I did order two more of these ephemera packs or these, uh, I guess it is an ephemera pack, but it's it looks like more like bigger pieces. So, waiting for those, and I did order more of the, ch the foam board. I call it, I was going to say chipboard, but we all know it's not chipboard anymore. It's cheap foam board, but hey, it gives dimension, and I'll take it. And then these are the pages that got in the kit, which was cool because... Um, it was really hard to get these papers. Like this one here, I wish I would have more than just one, but I mean, it is what it is. So it looks like this one we got two of. This one's cute too with the houses, two of those. 
some cut aparts. Two of those? Yeah, two of those. And it looks like some playing card stock. And doodle bug. And then they also gave these dies, which I really, really love these. So I'm excited to play with those. Um, so that was everything that came in the scrapbooking cards kit. Oh, no, wait, not everything. Sorry. The little mini album as well. So that is everything that came with that. <clears throat> and... Um, since we're already on that, let me just show you some other stuff. So this was scrapbook.com order. I picked up these dies. These have been on my to purchase list for a while now, and I'm excited to use those. <clears throat> and this is everything else. So I picked up the ephemera pack from Lil Boo Thing. Two of the stitch or embroidery kits for that collection. Um, these are the double-sided sticky die storage cards. This was a freebie. And this was a freebie as well. And then I, yeah, I pretty much picked up wherever I could find paper, I picked it up. So I picked up two of these. Maybe that's the only one I picked up. Uh, no, there's a ghost one from the boo thing. Uh, there's that one there. Or two. How many of those? Two. And then other um, little boo thing on the back. And then this one as well. I picked up those and some of the, uh, como se llama? Uh, the little fussy cutting ones that you can use the die. I did go ahead and pick up the die and the stamp as well, but that has not came. So I love this sheet here. I guess they split it up. So I picked up most likely a lot of them. This is the back side. Oh yeah, I picked up quite a few of this sheet. It's probably my favorite sheet. Other than like the little potion ones that I just showed. This one from Photoplay. And this one here. This one's probably my favorite sheet from this collection too. From the little blue thing. But I plan on mixing them. So here's this one from Paige Evans. And here is the collection kit with the cardstock stickers. Oh my goodness, excuse me, I have a hiccup. Um, where else? What else? What else? Okay, perfect. That's my order. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, that was one order from scrapbook.com. And then for my next order, um, from scrapbook.com, it was some paper or some glitter cardstock. Okay, here we go. So this one is the purple galore and it's the glitter sheets. And you guys look, this is how big they are. So if you do order, be advised, they are three by, by six. But let me tell you that they are like thick, thick, and they are stunning. The glitter is just like out of this control, out of this world, not out of this control. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, this is what happens when I decide to do these type of videos late at night. Okay, and then this one is the Milky Way. Oh, look at this white. Oh my gosh, you guys. This white is the most gorgeous white I think I've ever seen. There's no like iridescent 
like multi color shine okay yeah this is just like beautiful you see that and I wish this came with way more than just little four sheets then here's some silver and like a darker grayish and this blue is beautiful for like a night sky and the black is stunning as well so that is that one and then I guess I did not open this one yet this one is the fairy dust Ooh, oh my goodness wow just wow okay this is definitely like a must have but not for like every single thing it's just like for those special projects that you need that umph oh my gosh it's so pretty i can't okay and then i also bought the crafty cleanup cloths these are reusable and then these were freebies and i don't remember exactly what it was Sorry for the crinkling. Okay. So for the freebie, it was this paper pad. Oh, no, wait. Not all of it. My bad. Not all of it was freebies. So this is the paper pad. Oh, I didn't cut it open. But you get the gist of it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. So I might de-stash it. So I'm not going to open it. You got this. Stamp and die. And then you also got a scrapbook.com clear pocket and I also picked up this I didn't get any of the other collection I just really love this and wow do you see like right there the texture and the dimension it's like embossed let's open this because I'm curious I know I have paper collections that I can mix and match with oh and these are popped out already oh my gosh these are so freaking cute you guys i'm probably gonna have to go back and get another one they're just so expensive i really love this like so 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 much wow i just love like how it's embossed right here like it's just so cute I should leave this I'm gonna put this here just so I remember to put it back in okay so that was scrapbook.com um, on a D stash group I purchased this little festive foliage from the stamp market i've never seen this so i'm assuming this is probably from their class when they um, teamed up with pink fresh studio so maybe that's where this is from because i don't remember ever seeing this and i searched it up and i can't find it so this is the die and then you also get the stencil and i picked this up from the same seller I think this was only like two dollars and I really like the little bees and the floral right there and I picked this one up as well it's from Simon Says Stamp is there a name there isn't oh wait center cut hexagon floral so this is cool I do not have this and the middle of it comes out so I'm excited. I really love this and I I'm already have like a vision of how I want to do it. I'm thinking um, heat embossing it with gold and watercoloring it. And I would, this is the reason why I purchased from her because she had this stamp. I totally missed out on this stamp set for Stamp Temper because I was debating and I was like, no, I don't need it. No, no. But then when I decided I do want it, I went back. And it was sold out and she had it for the same exact price as 
Simon Says Stamp did. So I did not overpay for it. And I am so ecstatic because I'm so happy. Like this screams like vintage mugs. Like so vintage. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I picked up this from a different seller. And I really loved the little critters jumping on there. It's just, it's just so cute. I will eventually have to buy the coordinating dice. But for now, I am not purchasing them until I use it enough to justify the dice. Okay, so from Simon Says Stamp, I purchased this Halloween. And you guys, I purchased this one because I missed out on this one. And I was like, well, this is so cute. And they're just like little candy buckets. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad I still picked this up because they're so adorable. I think my favorite is the bat. The ghost. Actually, all of them are really cute. I think Frankenstein is my least favorite only because I don't know about the little, you know, dots and stuff there. But I really like this a lot. And this one is called Halloween Treats. And in my last video, I did say that I was waiting for this to come. And you guys, I went back and I checked and I totally did not buy it. So I went back that same night and I bought it. Thank goodness because it ended up selling out again. This is the Spiderweb's Texture Plate. Spiderweb Texture Dye from Waffle Flower. So excited. And I picked up this. This has been on my like to purchase list. It's I think it's part of their newer release. And it's the Door Decor Dyes. And look at how cute. Even though you can like make these only, I have so many dies that I can make it a spooky door. And this is the stamp that goes with it. And I don't remember sharing my tailored expressions haul the last time. So this was the freebie for September. And I went ahead and purchased their tombstone treats kit. And this is what I used um, on my most recent embellishments. Like this, it's this die here, the stamp set. I did not use these, but I did use um, this right here from the tombstone to put with a different tombstone. So that was part of this kit, which I was so happy to use already. And there was another die that I picked up and I can't find the name of it right now because I can't remember where I left the packaging. But it's this potion bottle right here. And I don't believe this is a new release. This is also from Tailored Expressions. And I use this and this for... Um, my what is it called for my uh, uh embellishment there we go that's what it's called and i do have these on magnet sheets so that way when i'm working on stuff it doesn't get lost oh but when that one actually comes with a um small little stamp as well I am looking for it now. Here we go. It comes with this stamp. So maybe it's called Potion Bottle. Tailored Expressions Potion Bottle. And it came as a set with the stamp and then the die that I just showed you. So that was good. I remembered to show that. Oh man, I forgot this from my Simon Says Stamp haul. Oh. Okay, so I picked up these spritzers, and I use sprays all the time in crafting, so I decided to pick up some that I don't own that do not have, like, the shimmer. So I got speckled egg, uh, salvage patina, crackling campfire, saltwater taffy and spun sugar 
So I picked up all those. And last but not least is a Spellbinders warehouse sale haul. And I did pick up quite a few things because they were cheap or they were on my wish list anyways. And since I was already placing the order, might as well. I have so many ideas for this. You have no idea. Like, this is prop no. This is one of my top um, dies that I was so excited about. So this is Stitched, Read, and Sip. I have ideas. I want to share with you what they are, but I want to make them, and then I will share with you the finished project. I also picked up this little kit. I picked up a lot of these because they were just such a good deal. I want to say like six dollars, maybe even four. I don't remember, but this is the for you cutting dies. So it just cuts out the the outline and stuff, and then you have the whole stencil set here. And then the same concept, I have the Make-A-Wish and then the Make-A-Wish um, stencils. They're layering stencils. I got this one here. This is, this one says it's for hummingbird textures, but I obviously just bought it just for all the different types of textures that are on it. This will be good with my paste to get some of those used up. I got this one here. This is for the add-ons for the wreath, but I have so many wreath dies that I didn't need to go buy another one. So I just got the add-ons. I love it. This has been on my list since last year, and it's the um, Bullicious Fall Cupcake. And I'm so excited to use these. Really cute, right? And I did buy, I think I bought that um, background um, uh, embossing folder. Okay, so I have the one stitch at a time embossing folder. And this is kind of massive. It's really big. Like eight and a half long. It's pretty huge. I'm trying to see if, there we go. I think you can see that pretty good right there. I have a lot of stitching dies and I figured that would be really cute. I have the detailed embossing folder. And I think this was the one that they used for that cupcake. This is the sun rays. I just said detailed embossing folder for the other one. And it's actually Plaid Company, okay? Don't mind me. I added an O to my um, stitched alphas. I need to double check that I don't already have it. But even if I do, I mean, I can cut multiple words with O's. So, got that one. I want to say I don't have it. Or maybe, you know, I'm not even sure anymore. But it doesn't matter at this point. It's already here. Can't do nothing about it. Um, Make it merry sentiments. Super cute. Very simple. I, I want to say this was like $3. It was very inexpensive. These little, a lot of these little dies were very inexpensive. Um, these are the Christmas holiday hug sentiments, and I really wanted the little postcard things, but they didn't have that. But I figured, you know what, I can use what I have to do something similar, so that'll work for me. And last but not least is this ginormous... Uh, stamp and stencil set and I think this was like five dollars I don't remember I'm sure they probably still have the sale 
but I stocked up on a lot of good sales. And almost everything that I bought, like I got either free shipping or a discounted rate on something. You know, all the things, especially because I was in, I signed up for the Crop and Create event. So they give us exclusive coupon codes. And I can't share that video with the contents yet because we're not allowed to. But that video is definitely coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your October and see you on the next video. Bye.